Once we have created a number of pages, we can group them into what we call a collection. This is simply a group of pages that are linked together. It's important to remember though that a page cannot be linked to more than one collection. So if you wish to use a page in more than one collection, you will need to make copies of the page to use in these different collections. To create a new collection, we click on Portfolio Collections. So here we see a list of the collections we have made and each collection has a title, uh, a short description perhaps, and then a list of the pages that are linked together in this collection. And to create a new collection, we click on New Collection. We begin by giving the collection a name. So I'll call this my first collection and a short description. And Mahara will add a navigation bar by default unless we tell it otherwise. Now to add some pages to the collection we click on Edit Collection Pages and here we see a list of the pages that are available to be included in the collection. And remember if a page is already in another collection it won't appear on this list. And we can select the pages individually or we can sele select them all at once. So in this case I will add my first page and select that one and click on add pages to add it to the collection and you can see now that it's included in the collection and we'll add this one as well. We'll select it and click add pages. Now we can rearrange the order that these pages appear in the collection by clicking the up and down arrows. So to move this one into second position just click the down arrow and now you can see it's in second and sample Mahara page is in first. And I'll just reverse that again. So the up arrow to return it to what it was. And when we're happy with the order of the pages, we click on done. So now this collection appears in our list of collections. And we can add or remove pages from the collection by clicking on the manage pages icon, which will take us back into where we've just been and we can work on our pages here and when we're finished click done. In the same way this icon here, the pencil icon, will allow us to edit the title and the description. And finally we can delete the collection by clicking on the bin icon. Now it's important to note that deleting the collection doesn't have any effect on the pages that were linked together in the collection. These are left unchanged. So in fact, deleting the collection simply means removing this grouping of pages together. So in our next video, we will see how to share a collection or a page with others.